What is happening everybody? Welcome back to the Dreamcatchers Fishing Channel. I'm really excited to talk today about something that you may agree with or you may not agree with and that is what separates good fishermen from bad fishermen. Uh, you know, I think there's this whole idea out there that there's this knowledge or this secret lure or there's this secret spot and I just want to absolutely squash that like a freaking bug because it's 2023 we have MLF live we have Bassmaster live we have hundreds of thousands of fishing YouTube channels on on specific bodies of water how to catch fish with these lures how to use those lures uh, there's electronics out now there's so many things out there guess what you might disagree with this but you're wrong there are no secrets there's no secrets all right so this is what I'm going to tell you today is what makes a good fisherman a good fisherman and a bad fisherman a bad fisherman I would say first and foremost it's understanding seasonal patterns and fish behavior okay I think so many times I've seen it a ton where guys fish the memory they fish the memory they say man I was there in March I caught them really good on a spinnerbait and it's May and they go back to the same area and they're like man it, it, something happened someone someone must have someone told them my spot someone hooked on my fish no 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 the fish aren't there because it's not March it's a timing deal it's understanding fish pattern and fish movement what do the fish do certain times of the year whether it be pre-spawn spawn post-spawn post -spawn, summer summer to fall transition fall fall to winter transition winter back into uh, spring and early pre-spawn you've got to understand how those fish move I'm this is what I'm saying I don't put much stock in the waypoint we just came out with a product called fish tips uh, it's an app where anglers can sell highly dialed in fishing reports uh, some of those fishing reports have uh, waypoints in them but really it's like hey this is what the fish were doing this is what I think they're gonna be doing this is what's the most recent most dialed in information I don't put stock in the waypoints though and if you put stock in the waypoint chances are you've probably just hit that waypoint at a right time the reason is this I don't care whether you're on Lake Chattoog Lake Hartwell the Kissimmee chain Lake Murray Fontana Lake the Potomac River uh, Lake Owa oh, uh, whatever OHIV I don't care where you are guys everybody has seen everything with electronics other fishermen on spots there are literally you might be like oh, I have a secret then you might have a, a secret but let me tell you something secrets are very very rare nowadays it has to do with most recent information it has to do with understanding fish movement and then thirdly understanding your electronics if you can understand how fish move seasonally what they do in certain conditions throughout the day whether it's sunny whether it's cloudy whether the winds out of the west whether it's out of the south whether it's out of the east um, the winds out of the north whether it's raining maybe whatever it is you've got to understand seasonal pattern and then how fish move within those specific conditions when you understand seasonal pattern and then specific weather conditions then you bring in your your electronics and say hey now I can really dial in these fish maybe I think they're transitioning from here to there and then you use your electronics to really uh, magnify what's going on and maximize your ability to catch those fish listen it's not a secret lure you know I had a buddy go with another fellow on another lake uh, and uh, I said yeah I, I'd say you guys were probably throwing um, a Kitech offshore on timber he's a man you're right I said yeah I'm, I'm right it's just what the fish do this time of the year he goes for some reason I just thought there was the secret lure he was throwing I'm like nope he was probably throwing uh, he was probably in areas where there was high concentrations of bait fish uh, he was probably in areas that are you know it was a winter time of the year so it's probably fishing a wintering hole or a staging area for those fish to start moving to the back of the creeks to start pre-spawn spawn their whole shebang so you know there's not this secret lure like if you watch these guys on MLF it's like yeah they're throwing a swim jig have you seen what their jig looks like it looks like it has a couple strands of, of skirt material and whatever the heck's laying on their floor like a lot of the times it's just understanding what the fish are doing time of the year what they're doing because of the conditions and then really getting the juice out of that spot by maximizing your electronics so at the end of the day 
What separates a good fisherman and what separates a bad fisherman is their ability to make adjustments. And this is why, honestly, as an artificial conventional guide, I put so much stock in that, hey, our guides have it dialed in because we're able to make adjustments. I'm not talking about throwing live bait out there. Let me tell you something. You throw live bait out there, you go catch fish, have fun. There, I don't think there's a lot of skill involved there. You, you can find the fish. Uh, but you know, I think there's a whole nother level of mastery when it comes to learning the lures, learning how to how to work the lures, learning what the lures do at certain depths, uh, understanding the fish behavior and why those lures work specifically for that specific reason for that deal. I once had a really really good friend say, if he says I ask myself why am I doing this every time I'm at a spot or um, I'm fishing, why, why am I doing this? And he makes himself answer, oh, it's because the sun's out, they should be on, this, on these docks, and if they're on these docks, there should be some bait fish around in these areas, and this should be, this is why I'm fishing the way I'm fishing right now. And I would ask yourself to think about that. If you cannot answer that question, why am I here? Like I said, so many people fish memories, they don't fish the moment. They fish memories, and you know, if I was to ask you, hey, why are you here? You'd say, well, because back in February I caught them. Well, let me tell you something. The water temperature from May to February or May to March or whatever is usually about 25 degrees different. The fish are totally doing different things and there's a ton of different factors that are in play. Ask yourself why. And then when you ask yourself why, have the open mind to be able to make adjustments. Now listen, if you can understand fish behavior, if you can understand uh, how fish move in, in different conditions, if you can maximize your electronics and at all times ask, your ask yourself, why am I fishing the way I'm fishing currently and able to make adjustments on the fly? Chances are you're a pretty good angler. If you can't answer those or don't know those, I would say continue to educate yourself. Uh, you know, continue to do research. You know, get, get on fishtips.io, buy some tips, see these high in depth fishing reports. Why are guys doing that? Oh, he explained. Oh, these fish are here. They're moving here. This is why. And really educating yourself and speeding up that learning curve so you can have more success on the water. So anyways, I hope this video answered a lot of questions. Uh, I, and it, it really talked about how I feel. I don't put many stocks in the lure. I can fish behind guys and have total confidence that I'm going to have success. I can fish behind uh, on waypoints, fish behind guys, whatever. It doesn't matter to me because at the end of the day, I'm trying to always understand fish seasonal patterns wise. I'm trying to understand why fish move in seasonal patterns, how they move during different conditions throughout the day, maximizing my electronics, and throwing the right lure that maximizes my opportunity to catch fish. The action lure matches why those fish would be up there feeding for any certain situation. So anyways, I appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe. Uh, give me your thoughts down in the comment section. Maybe you have a bunch of secrets. Maybe you're not, maybe you don't, I don't know. But anyways, thanks for watching this video guys. I'm out.